What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're going to finish up a Plague's Tale Requiem. Only this time, we're going to be on my main computer, which right now consists of a 5950X that has been heavily tinkered with, as well as the RAM, 3800 MHz RAM, in fact, 1900 IF, Infinity Fabric. Then we got a MSI 4090 Gaming Trio, and it's cooled. The uh, G or CPU is cooled by a 420 uh, millimeter radiator. At least I'm pretty sure. All I know is it's large. <laughs> Uses 140 millimeter fans. So anyway, oh, and it's powered by a 1600 watt platinum power supply because I was expecting both the new CPUs and GPUs to be way higher power waters than they actually are. I mean, the Intel one, I guess, is pretty spot on. Oh, speaking of which, getting a 13900K F delivered soon. Gonna have to do that, a build on that for sure. Anyway though, enough blabbing on and on. Why don't we get into the game and look at some settings. Oh, we finally made it to the 4090 computer now. And for now it has a 5950X, but soon to be a 13900K. Anyway. I wasn't sure if the thing was gonna do that stupid thing at the beginning, so I kinda of paused there, but then didn't see anything, so just stood talking, so. I'll try not to have that happen so we're not just sitting there for like so many seconds at the top doing nothing. That's just wasting time, after all. Anyway though, without wasting more time, that is the bottom, so into the game. Starting off the game on low. And of course we're getting insanely good FPS, but I mean we should. We're running the still pretty decent 5950X CPU, and we got pretty much the best, well, it is the best GPU you can buy. It may not be the fastest version of it, but. It's still immensely faster than my old 3090. That's all I know. So, all right, let's go into these grass. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, these guys again. Didn't you hear? We have men missing. Something is going on here. Let's go get the alchemist and leave this bloody place. We wait for Arno. It's an order. All right, you're cool. An you order, you say? Tower. And they'll storm in soon. Lucas, this is our last hope to save Hugo. Yes, we must get much of the Vodon out before their chief arrives. Come on. Man, I'm getting hungry. I think I'll make pizza soon. How anyone can get hungry with all the rats and death is beyond me, but I'm weird, I guess. It's not affecting my appetite at all. Probably because I know it's just a game. Quiet, stomach. You will be fed soon. Come on, come on. All right, where'd that archer guy go? I swear I saw someone up here. All right, well. I don't know. Let's go down this way, I guess. Couldn't decide really what to do. One thing I like about this GPU is it just stays at pretty much a constant megahertz. It doesn't just bounce all over the place. My 3090, that thing is all over. Anyway, this is a good spot to move on. All right, let's look at these settings for medium now. We'll do super resolution and frame generation later. And here's the medium settings, of course. Well, we've reached the bottom, so you know what that means? Time for the game. Well, now let's get ourselves in a little medium gameplay now. I decided to go turn the oven on before I started this recording. Why not let it preheat? It takes a little while to preheat. I could probably get through a couple of these before it gets done. Yeah, I'm moving around. Yeah, you guys can't see me though. I'm in the grass. I'm in the grass. And your guys' ass is going to be grass.
Ooh, he almost saw me. That would not have been good. Let's take care of him. Probably a waste of a knife, but still. At least now he's gone. No time to waste. Should be able to take his damn bow and arrow. Not like she knows how to use that. She knows how to use a sling. You can't just pick a bow and arrow and be flawless with it. I'm halfway decent with it, but I played around with them a lot when I was, like, in my teens. Not so much play. I shot a lot of targets, I guess I should say. You should never play with the weaponry. Come on. Come on. Still getting decent FPS. Obviously more than playable. I would like a little bit more, but... Uh-oh. Saw me anyway, Get fuck it. Hmm. Alright, anyone else hear me? Alright, nope, I can't fit any more of that, so pointless to go over there. Oh, there's a pig eating. Shit! Run! Run! Rats! They're coming! What? Well, I got, got fucked up. But well, it seems like this is a probably a pretty good time to move on, so why don't we just do that? Now on to high graphics settings. Let's just scroll through them real quick. Of course, we'll do DLSS and this frame generation thing at the very end. But for now, we'll just do high. All right, that's the bottom. It's so time to get to the game. Here we go, high mode now. Still getting plenty of FPS, of course. But what would you expect from a pretty decent computer like this? It'll be pretty flawless when I get my 13900KF, though. But even that, I believe, will bottleneck this thing at 4K in certain circumstances. But it'll be a lot better than what I got now for certain games, especially Far Cry 6. I know I beat that game already, but still, there's other games that I could use an uptick in. Oh. oh, yeah, I didn't pick the one up from that other place, so of course I can pick up another one. <laughs> All right, we'll just cruise back up here again. This just seems like a pretty safe way to get up there and deal with the archer. Maybe repetitive, but it works. And it gets us a little gameplay, so all is well that ends well. He didn't see me at all that time. I wonder if I can kill him with a sling. I know he'll hear me, but... Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, rock to the face. <laughs> and if I remember correctly... Oh, yeah, there, I think I've got all this shit, but I'm going to open it up just to make sure again anyway. All right, yeah, I can't hold anymore. Tis what I thought. But we can go back down here now. As soon as I make sure the coast is clear anyway. I'll wait for that guy to not be looking at me. Can I get that guy? Nope. Too far away. I can get this guy, though. Ha! Get out of the way. Alright, now let's go down here real quick. Jump in here. And if I remember correctly, right up here is where the rats come in. Shit! Run! Run! Rats! They're coming! What? Which does make our FPS tank. At least for a second. Yeah, we lost like. We were in the 80s, low 80s. Now we're all the way down to 70. Well, now we've made it to high, so let's just look through these real quick. And then after that, we can mess around with these. Oh, oven's ready. And then after that, we can get to some of the DLSS and whatnot. So, to the game. Well, let's get on with some ultra gameplay now. Let's do this. We're just gonna run for it. Fuck you guys. Aha, uh -huh, now I'm peeking at you through a window. It's almost like she's a peeping Tom. Although, no, it's not like there are people like, getting undressed or anything, so that doesn't really fit. Oh, that would have been so funny. 
It's like, I'm a Dr. Pepper. What was that sound? Oh shit, my friend's dead. What happened? Oh, he got hit in the head with a fucking rock. Hey, we alerted that guy a little bit. I can't remember how to cancel, if there's even a way to. But obviously we're still getting shit tons of FPS. As we should be. We're pretty close to maxing the thing out most of the time, but there are parts where I've noticed it go way under the 90s in utilization. So we're probably still bottlenecked by that processor in spots, but not so much so that it makes the experience terrible. It's not like we're full of stutter and stuff like that. That's always fun to do. Goodbye. Ha. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Seems to be clear. Oh shit, he's coming back out. I kind of want to assassinate that dude. Oh, he's not coming out? Alright, I thought he was going to come out and just go back in. Alright, is there a way in the back? Nope. You oh well, let's us. move on. Now to do some DLSS, so we're sharp with quality, and then after we go through all those, then we'll try a little of that frame generation stuff. I'm excited to try it out. And that's the bottom, so to the game we go. All right, here we go with some DLSS quality. I kind of forgot I didn't need to like exit the game for that. I should have just stayed where I was, but whatever. We'll just get back to about where we were. And as you can see, now we have a plethora of FPS. Hell, so much FPS that even my monitor couldn't keep up with it most of the time. Now we're to a point where it could. Oh, he's all over there. I got here so quick. Come on. Nope, no time to waste. That's why I killed him real quick. Now we'll hop down here, take this guy out of the jeep. Now that guy saw, but we can get into the weeds and he won't know, probably. I probably should have gone into the house, now that I think about it. We got an intruder. Oh shit, he is coming this way after all, and he can find me in the weeds if he gets close enough. Crap. Do I have my knife still? I don't think I used my knife. Can I knife this motherfucker? Oh yeah, take that. All right, that deals with them. Now for balanced, so scroll through here real quick. No music this time for whatever reason. Honestly thought there was uh, no sound for a second until I started hearing the clicks. Anyway though. Back to the game. Doing some DLSS quality now. Or not quality, ba balanced. Balanced, 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 not quality. Come on, come so, on. DLSS balanced gameplay now. So let's go and see what we can do. If anything, this made it worse. Probably because it makes the CPU bottleneck more. Yeah, we're only getting 66% utilization. So yeah, that's probably what's going on. But hey, we gotta test all the settings anyway. So if you have an older CPU like I do, do not uh, go too far with the DLSS or it will start bottlenecking really bad. Don't worry, I'll put you out of your misery. There you go. Now you won't have to be eaten by rats. Well, your carcass will, but you won't. Will you be able to escape? I don't know about that. 
All right, now where shall I go? Hmm, I guess we can go sneak back around this way. Oh, nope, that's nothing I can carry right now. Grab that, I guess. And let's move on. So now for some DLSS performance. Right there. And we'll do that flame generation soon. And the rest of the game is still maxed out, so let's just get to the bottom here. And now let's get back into that game, shall we? Well, now let's do some DLSS bal- or not balanced performance. I keep getting all tongue twisted here. So this is performance. And apparently my headset's battery is low as it screams in my ear. Whatever. Low battery on this thing is still like an hour or so. So, that's plenty to finish up this recording session. Alright, let's see here. Just assuming this is what I'm supposed to do, I could be wrong, but we're gonna try it. I'm all the way, rats. Alright, let's drop this thing. All right, so what's going on in here? All right, well, there's a bunch of them down there. So we can't just walk down there willy-nilly, and there's still a guy here. All right, take him out real quick. That is good. That is good. Now let's do some DLSS. Ultra performance before moving on to the frame generation stuff. Everything's still maxed out. So now let's go back to that game. This is some DLSS ultra performance now. Let's see. Oh, nope, that is where we're supposed to go. I almost couldn't see the stairs there for a second. Otherwise, I would have been going back the way I already damn came. And who wants to do that? I mean, I guess there are some circumstances where you have to, but I don't want to do that right now. Alright, we hit the other button. Very intuitive controls, too. I like it. Oh, no. I thought that's what that was for. Did I not aim properly? Oh, too far up. There we go. Yep, I guess I was just too far up. Alright, what else can I light on fire around here? Oh, there's something else right there. What else can we do? I guess we gotta go in here. Ah, cool, there's stuff. Actually, let's create some. Otherwise, we'd just be like leaving those behind when I actually could use them. Gotta remember to start doing that. Anyway, time to move on. All right. Now I figured we'd do some DLSS frame generation, but I figured I'd see if it even works without DLSS first. And then we'll start doing it with DLSS after that. So this is going to be a pretty long video probably, but hey, at least it's going to be damn thorough. Alright, to the bottom means to the game. Now we got some DLSS frame generation here without any other DLSS super resolution or anything. This is just that one toggle switch turned on. And to be honest, I know it does increase the latency, but I don't really notice it in a game like this that much. So this is exactly what it's probably for. Now, if this was a first-person shooter, I might notice. But on this OLED, it still feels smooth as butter to me. It still looks really good. I'm sure if I sat here with a magnifying glass, I could sit here and I could figure out some shit that was wrong with it, you know? Alright. <laughs> there was like a freaking tornado of them before they freaking disappeared. Let's turn that on too. Why not? Oh, 
All right, for no reason at all, just to light it. Just waste ammo, why not, you know? Oh, those look like sticks. All right, no more sneaking around. I was just kind of doing that for fun, but really no need to sneak. Rats don't really care. They see me no matter what. All right, now, let's move on. So, now it's time to combine DLSS quality with the frame generation and leaving everything else maxed out. So there's the bottom. Let's go back into the game and see how it does. So this is DLSS frame generation with DLSS on quality. And wow, that's a lot of FPS. All right, well, let's get the hell in here. I guess we gotta drop that. And now let's go in the door. I'm tired of being with this rat scum. Here we go. We're here. I think we're safe now. Well, just when you, you think you're great. safe, you're never safe. But damn, these are good graphics. What's wrong? Even with all that Go fancy stuff in turning up on in the background, it still it. looks really good. Those last months on the road. After all that happened in Guyenne. Hugo was always worried that it would start all over again. Yep, and now it has, so you're gonna have to break but the bad news to him. Everything was so nice and quiet, and so I told him that maybe it was over, that the worst was behind. We all hoped it was. But what are we gonna tell him now? Well, we're gonna have to figure it out. But that the bite has let's move on. on. Now for some DLSS balanced with the DLSS frame generation on. Balanced, and that is on, so let's scroll through all of the settings as it is still maxed out. I wouldn't want to invalidate the tests by changing anything now. That would be absolutely foolish, but still, let's get back to that game. Well, here we go with some DLSS balanced and frame generation. That's an entrance hall. So what do we got How here? Do we get this upstairs? looks like a pretty interesting spot. With these sorts of iron bells. Look, they bear planet symbols. Planetary here, bells, you said. The sun sits in their center. So it seems like this is going to be the our first puzzle, huh? Right. How does the whole thing work? There are locks for a key under each bell. It's one big mechanism. But we don't have a key, so... I think the key makes each bell pivot. But your sling may do the trick. Let's try from the left. All right. From left to right. All right, right so we're going to try from over is. here. Okay. Jupiter, Mars, the Sun, Venus, and Mercury. Jupiter's symbol looks like a Z, like for Zeus. Z for Zeus, huh? All right, well, I guess let's go get started. All right, so we'll start over here. This one... This one should be the Z, he says. We don't need to be wasting our fire ones, though, so let's change to a normal rock. Nope, that's not it. Next. Nope. There we go. What's next? To Jupiter's right is Mars, the god of war. It's a shield crossed by a spear. spear. All right, well, I shield. saw that one, so let's go flip him around real quick. Come on, that's it. And now let's move on. Now we're going to do ourselves some DLSS performance with this frame generation stuff on as well. But first, let's scroll through the rest of these real quick. And all right, to the game we go. Now on to the next thing here. We're doing some DLSS on performance with that frame generation. So we gotta go on to the next part of the puzzle. For a circle with a line going down. Line going down, huh? I think this is Venus. The last one is Mercury. God of commerce. He carries a star with two snakes intertwined. All right. I'm done. That's all of them, I think. All right, cool. Oh, look. That wall's a door. Sweet. So we get to go through the wall Good door. Let's wall go door. Find his Magister.
All right, so have we made it to the guy? I guess we have. Magister Vodan, I'm Amicia de Rune. The daughter. That explains why those brutes downstairs are so quiet. Yes, yes it would. The Order was quite impressed by the way you put down the Inquisition in Guyenne. Well, I didn't have a choice. Not a choice. A calling. That of a carrier's protector. Oh. A the protector, you say? A protector. Your function among the All Order. Alright. Let's move on. Last up, before we get to camera, let's do some ultra performance DLSS with the frame generation. But first, scrolling through all the settings, of course. And there we go, that's the bottom, so. Now to the game we go. Well, here we go. We have a long way DLSS to go. ultra performance that's with frame generation, time. and man, it is storming, isn't it? Things are getting worse and worse. I know you're worried. But you should give Magister Vodon some time. Yeah, give time. him some time. To do what? Make Hugo feel even worse. He's conducting tests. Or prevent tests. him from killing us all. But he knows what he's Could doing. That too. He's the most know. competent in his domain. Oh, enough of that! He's been treating my brother like an animal. No. We need another solution. Like this island Hugo dreams of. A dream. Well, where in the hell is that? What can though? we do with a dream, Amicia? Just keep caring about him, please. I care. Well, we do, but hey, you gotta but do more than just care. Anymore. Caring isn't always enough. You can't care away disease. Everybody's and gone. You can't care away whatever that kid's got. I think it's through here. I can't, I can't believe they blocked the way to the arena. What's happened down there? All oh, right, I guess they blocked our way. It seems. Oh, it stinks. Well, that means we're on the right path. There it is. Well, I guess they didn't block our path yet, but I'm guessing they blocked our path further down. Anyway, why don't we move on? Well, all right, guys, let's get a little camera gameplay in now. This one's going to be a little bit longer than the other videos because there's more things. I couldn't do this frame generation thing on anything else, but we're not going to do any V-Sync for now. Normally, I'd run V-Sync, probably. I don't like screen tearing, so not probably. I would. Full screen. Quality DLSS, frame generation on, because I honestly can't really tell the difference. I'm sure if I sat there with like a magnifying glass, I could notice some weird shit going on with it, but that thing seems to be pretty sweet. As this is not a first person shooter anyway, I don't really notice too much of the latency. But everything else is going to stay maxed out, so now, why don't we hop back into the game? Alright, here we go with some camera gameplay now. There it is. Alright. You ready? Yes. Let's, Let's go. go. We must go in. So what is in here, I wonder? Ah. Oh. Rotten flesh. This is the Butcher's District. It's the shortest way to the herbalist. All right, Come then. Come on, good people. I've got all the poultry you could ever want. Pork, pork, to ride, to boil. Tasty for sure. There's the city gate. We're not there yet. And Hugo might even be getting worse right now. Let's hurry. It will be alright. Well, it will be until the rats probably start popping out. What's this? Nothing good, it seems. This district is now closed what? on the authority of the Count Victor of Arl. For your own safety, do not try to get inside. You can't keep us out. No, Hugo can't wait. There might be another way in. Tell us what's happening. Like she's in All right, the well, where can we maybe go? go? What are you hiding from us? If people die, where do you want us to go? Oh. 
Alright, I thought it could be easy and just go through that door, but no. Hey, there's a back alley through there. What do you think? A back alley? Where? Oh, oh, I see. Just your way in. Wait. I think. Nice. So I went to the solution too quickly, it seems. Through here, Monsieur. It looks safe. Is it someone's home? We're just passing. You must be joking. The butch is done. We're going in there. Yeah. This is a terrible idea. Don't think. Just hold your breath. No. No, 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 no. no. no don't tell me. Yes. I've got something in my mouth. I said hold your breath. I panicked. Oh, Lucas. We believe in things. There must be born from this. Why in the world would you think about that? It stops me from <laughs> losing my mind. But it takes me closer to losing mine. Just think of it as matter. Being transformed. Alright, get the fuck out of there. My boots are ruined. The ground is soaked with blood. Like the arena. This whole place is just baked. Pretty much. Awesome, more shit to make shit with. All right, what else do we got? Any more? Yep, damn straight. There's a cart in the way. We have to keep going. Help me with this. Yes. Ha! Uh, no. <laughs> huh. Well, there we go. Damn straight we can. Alright, where is that? Yep, they just closed it and they're letting all the people die, it seems. Alright, well, what is the solution? Oh, wait, I remember. Let's give it to him. Here you guys go. Meet on a house. Let's go see that. All right. this do? What's that powder? Salt pizza. It normally preserves meat, but it's thick enough to choke the flames. Good to know. Alright. Let's leave now! Wait! The light! Townsfolk. I guess. How many have I left? Now the fire. We need some salt pizza. Yes. Where are we going to get some? Oh, right there. This is more saltpeter, right? Yes, a lot of it. 
This should put any fire out. Let's try. Alright, where am I supposed to go with it? I wasn't really paying attention. That's close enough. Come, don't stay there. Wait, I'm taking some. This stuff is too useful. Alright, it's all yours now. I have it. Stay back. All right, then it looks like the only solution is oh, nope, 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 not that. Oh, nope. I guess that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Oh well. That's plenty of gameplay anyway. So why don't we go wrap the video on up? Well, alright guys. That is a wrap for a Plague's Tale Requiem. And obviously this computer handled it absolutely flawlessly. I expected it would. It didn't seem to be a title where the CPU would get in the way too much. Until we started doing DLSS and started dropping the resolution down. Then, and I saw a little bottleneck, but we were still getting good FPS, so I still think the way I played it would probably be best, but that's just me. Anyway, though, that's all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until the next one, peace out, guys.